traumatic brain injury falls and car accidents are two of the top causes of traumatic brain injuries, TBIs. When you take a severe blow to the head, your brain hits against the skull, the impact can cause brain damage. Concussions are the most common type of TBI. You can take steps to lower your risk of accidents that cause TBIs. What is a traumatic brain injury? TBI, a traumatic brain injury, or TBI, can happen when there is a blow to the head. The injury can be penetrating, such as a gunshot wound, or a non penetrating injury, such as being struck in the head in a car accident. Traumatic brain injuries vary in severity. Many people recovery from TBIs within days and more severe forms can cause permanent brain injury or even death. Who might get a traumatic brain injury, TBI? Anyone can experience a TBI, although nearly 80% of them happen to males. TBIs are also more common among people older than 65. People in this age group are more prone to losing their balance, falling and hitting their heads. But even infants can experience TBIs from incidents like falling from a bed or changing table, or more rarely, from abuse. People involved in certain professions or activities have a higher risk of TBIs, including athletes, both recreational and professional, construction workers, military members, police and law enforcement. What are the types of traumatic brain injuries, TBIs? The severity of the head injury is determined by several different factors, such as loss of consciousness, certain neurological symptoms that happened at the time of the injury, loss of memory for the injury and time surrounding it, and abnormalities on head court or brain MRI. There are several different types and grades of TBI, mild concussion, MTB, concussions are the most common type of TBI, 3 out of 4 TBIs every year are concussions. These MTBAs can include brief alterations of consciousness such as feeling dazed or loss of consciousness for less than 30 minutes. People who have an MTB can experience confusion for about one day, which is different from difficulties with attention or memory. Moderate DBI This type of head injury is associated with loss of consciousness for over 30 minutes but less than one day. Confusion can last for up to one week. Severe TBI Individuals with this type of head injury lose consciousness for over one full day. These injuries are typically associated with changes on head court or brain MRI. Uncomplicated TBI, head court, brain MRI are normal, regardless of mild, moderate or severe grade. Complicated TBI, head court or brain MRI show changes, such as bleeding, closed. Most TBIs are closed. A close TBI means an outside force causes a blow or jolt to the head that did not penetrate the skull. This impact injures the brain, causing it to swell. Open. Healthcare providers may call open TBI a penetrating TBI. This injury occurs when a bullet, knife or something else goes through the skull. If the object goes into the brain, it directly damages brain tissue. Non-traumatic, also known as a hypoxic, anoxic brain injury. Some TBIs aren't from trauma, they can result from strokes, seizures and events like choking and near-fatal drownings. These incidents can deprive the brain of oxygen, cerebral hypoxia. What are the top causes of traumatic brain injuries? TBIs, falls account for almost half of emergency department visits for TBIs. People older than 65 and children under age 17 experience the most fall-related TBIs. Other causes include, domestic violence, assaults, child abuse and shaken baby syndrome, gunshot wounds, including attempted suicides, motor vehicle accidents, sports, recreational, work or military injuries. What are the symptoms of a traumatic brain injury, TBI? TBI symptoms vary depending on how severe the injury is. A key sign is loss of consciousness, passing out, after a blow. Some people feel dazed for a couple of minutes and others are unresponsive for long periods, coma or a persistent vegetative state. Signs of a TBI include, behavior or mood changes, confusion or memory problems, convulsions or seizures, dilated pupils or blurred vision, dizziness, fainting or fatigue, headaches, nausea and vomiting, restlessness or agitation, 
sensitivity to light and smell, sleeping too much or too little, slurred speech. How is a traumatic brain injury, DBI, diagnosed? Your healthcare provider will examine you and ask about your symptoms. They will also want to learn more about what caused the injury. Depending on the severity of the injury and symptoms, you may have neurological evaluation. A neurologist, specialist in the brain, checks your memory, thinking, motor function, balance, reflexes and coordination, and sensory functions, hearing and vision, imaging tests, a court scan or MRI checks for brain bleeding and swelling, blood test, the Banyan Brain Trauma Indicator or Ascents, BTI, looks for proteins in your blood that indicate concussion or mild DBI. How is a traumatic brain injury? DBI, managed or treated, for severe TBI, people often need hospital care and more intense treatments, for all TBI grades, treatments may include, counseling for emotional support, many individuals experience stress and worries about their recovery, they may find that it is more difficult to get back to their work and hobbies than anticipated, therefore, counseling is often very helpful in conjunction with other medical treatments. Surgery to treat bleeding in the brain, intracranial hemorrhage, or reduce pressure from brain swelling. Rehabilitation, including physical, occupational and speech therapy. Rest, talk to your doctor about how long to rest after a TBI. Depending on the type of TBI, some may need to rest for one to two days before going back to their typical activities. More severe head injuries may require longer periods of rest. Return to typical activities. For milder head injuries, sometimes if people rest for too long after their head injury, they may have more difficulty returning to work, school, and other activities like socializing and hobbies. For more severe injuries, returning to activities too soon can make symptoms worse. Talk to your doctor for specific recommendations.